What is up all of you beautiful YouTube family? It's time to wake up. It's time to get the day started. And what better way to get the day started than with the Bad LSX Garage YouTube channel. As you can see outside here in East Central Kentucky, it is a mess. We have rain, high winds, sleet. There's even some snow going on in the eastern part. It's a mess. I don't have a clue what's going on, but what I do know that's going on is what's gonna happen in this garage today. And right here behind me in this box is part of what's gonna be happening. Stick around, stay tuned, and let's roll to that intro. Yeah, you guys are going to enjoy this one, I think. Hold on, we'll get to it in just a second. Relax, just chill out a minute. Have you got your cup of coffee? Have you got your Coca-Cola, your Sprite, your Mountain Dew, whatever your drink of choice for the morning is, have you got it ready? Have you wiped the sleep out of your eyes? Are, are you ready to go is what I'm saying. Get you a good drink and then we'll get started. They ain't nothing to me like a good cold Coca-Cola in the morning, but that's just me. Again, fam, welcome back to the Bad LSX Garage YouTube channel. I'm glad each and every one of you decided to stop back by again this week to see what's going on and what we're about and what we are going to do. To all of you OGs and to all you new subscribers, thank you very much. Thank you for the comments, the likes, the shares. Thank you for all of it. Now for some of you that may be just dropping by to see what's going on in this video, Hang around, watch the video. If you like what you see, go down through the rest of the videos. Check those out, because I've got plenty out there for you to look at. But if you don't know what we do here, let me explain. Every Friday at high noon, I put out a long form video. And my long form videos are about cars, trucks, motorcycles, mostly motorcycles, unboxings, reviews, how-tos, vacations, pretty much across the board. It's a little bit of everything. If it has wheels and takes you to that destination, hey, we rolling out. That's what we do here. Now, every single day I put out a short and some of you are here because of my shorts. My shorts are crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you about it. They're everywhere. They're political, they're, they're my thoughts, they're my opinions, they're uh, reactions to certain videos or just, it's, it's a, everywhere, guys. Now, do the two, kind of meet in the middle and eh, sometimes but most of the time they're their own entities long form videos and shorts are two different things except for fridays the friday shorts yeah they merge together that's it but other than that that's just a little short rundown of what the bad lsx garage is when i started this channel a couple of years ago i said that i would not sell my soul to the devil and let me explain what i mean by that so just like many of you, I would get on the internet, I would get on YouTube, I would watch my favorite content creator, and you know, he's pushing a certain, pro or she is pushing a certain product. They're in collaboration or sponsored with somebody. And you think, okay, well if, if they like this product and then they're saying it's such a good product, then okay, maybe I should get this product too. Well, you work all month, you barely got enough to even pay your rent, but you just go ahead and buy that car part or that bike part, whatever. It finally comes in Saturday, you open up the box and you're disappointed. Your heart literally breaks because this product is garbage. You literally got to pick it up and take it to the trash can because it's junk. It's not going to work. It's not what they said it was. Now that I'm behind the scenes, now that I see what's going on, I understand why people do it but you don't have to do it. So let me explain. I gotta go backwards again to go forwards. Now that I'm in YouTube, now that I see what's going on, now that I see how sponsorships and collabs work, a lot of these sponsorships want you to say a certain thing. They actually write out a script for you to say. I don't agree with that. Myself personally, if you're wanting a product, you're wanting me to push the product, let me use the product. Let me check the product out. Let me hold it physically in my hands, check it out and see if it's capable of doing what you say it is. 
I can't agree with that. I can't go with that. I'm not going to sell my soul to the devil just to make a dollar, which a lot of people have. You may be asking yourself, what has brought all of this up? Well, I've recently got some comments and it's not trolls. It's actually people who's watching the content, who is serious about watching my content, who said that I've become no more than a, a YouTube salesman. And I have to disagree with that because, well, if you'll go through my videos, and I'm not going to mention any names because, well, for one, the video's out there, and two, I was told I'd be sued if I really talked about it much more. In fact, they want to sue me because I won't take down the video because I actually burnt their product. Um, yeah, you'll see that I won't, I won't be bought. I won't be, uh, if I believe in your product, I'm going to sponsor it. If I don't believe in your product, then I'm going to burn you down. So with that being said, you guys can call me whatever you need to call me. But if you want real world, honest reviews, you know where to come to. Enough with all this negativity, let's get started. So if you've been watching the videos at all, you will know that within the past month, month and a half, that I put some fairing extensions on my 2024 Road Glide. They look sick. In fact, that video has blown up and in person, when I've been out on the bike, people have said, did you get those from Harley? Where did you get those from? And when I've said, nope, I've actually got them from Amazon. They're an Amazon special. Running Panther from Amazon, to be honest. They're like, no way, really? Are you serious? Absolutely, I'm absolutely serious. And you too need to go to Running Panther along with everyone else and check out everything that Running Panther has. They have a lot of stuff for motorcycles. Motor phone bounce, they have cup holders, they have those fairing extensions, and they have what I have right here in this box. So once again, I hit up Amazon, I hit up Running Panther, and I said, hey, you wanna do a sponsorship again? You wanna check things out? They said, absolutely, what do you need? I said, I need one of those skid plates you got. We are looking at this together for the first time. Let's get this box out of the way, and first glance, we've got our hardware right here, all in a Ziploc bag, ready to go. Don't look like there's too much. What, four, five, maybe five clamps here. Put that to the side. And we have the skid plate itself. Well covered, all in black. Let's pull this, pull this off of here. Looks like it's got nice little vents. NSR actually carved on the side of it, etched, several holes, heavy duty, nice piece. Yeah, you hit a rock with that, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna feel it, but you're not gonna destroy your bike. Let's just put it that way. That's gonna save that underneath of that bike really well. Guys, I'm so far so good, I'm, yeah. I'll get you guys closer and we'll get a intact, more in-depth shot here. Running Panther says that this skid plate is made of a premium aluminum material. They say that it's a lightweight and strong, thick aluminum. The thickness is to confidently deflect any projectile, stone, debris, or anything else that actually may come in contact with this skid plate. Now, I was pleasantly surprised when I pulled it out of the box because it does not feel like an aluminum piece. When you think of aluminum, you think of a pop can, something that's gonna be easy, easy to bend and just, yeah, that's not gonna work on, on a 24 Road Glide. Everything I hit is gonna bend it, what's it gonna protect? But honestly, it feels like a stamp steel product. It's thick, it's not bendable, it's not pliable, it's just, it's a nice looking piece. It looks like that maybe it's been laser cut with their logo and does have some little designs here and there, but the best part about it, it's got actual three vents in it, three vents cut in the bottom. And if you know anything about ventilation, that's, a, that's very important because you want the cool air to come in and you obviously need that hot air to go out. Most of the time when you put a skid plate on, whether it's a car, truck, motorcycle, whatever it is, if they don't have any sort of ventilation on them, you may see an increase in temperature on your car, truck, motorcycle, whatever it may be. But to actually see these vents in this skid plate, that lets me know that that cool air that I'm gonna get in on the motorcycle and all that stagnant hot air is not gonna be sticking around. It's actually gonna be ventilated back out through the bottom. 
So that's a huge, huge plus. Now this product looks like it has been powder coated with a, what I would call wrinkled black finish. It's a nice piece, guys. I'm honestly pleasantly surprised. Now, it's not that I didn't think that Running Panther wouldn't follow through with what their products are. I know they got great products, but it's just more than actually what I thought it was gonna be. Now, their hardware. You will come with six of these brackets that has a rubber coating over them. That rubber coating is to help you from not scratching your frame. Obviously, the skid plate's gonna give and move a little bit here and there. So with that give and move, you're not gonna scratch up your frame. Everything is gonna protect, be protected. It also does come with what I would call a, a block nut. This is not your traditional nut. Yes, you're gonna be able to screw a nut into this on either side, but or a bolt, I'm sorry, but it is not your typical nut. This is to be able to get into small tight places and you can actually use needle nose pliers, whatever to get in there like that and hold and this is so you can actually tighten up your button head bolt that i just dropped in the floor that is a three millimeter and uh, it actually recesses up into the skid plate so it's all out of the way it's all clean and a clean install but the only thing that i dislike about this whole thing and look it's nothing to do with the product at all it has to do with running panther themselves Everything that I've bought from Running Panther doesn't have instructions. Why Running Panther? There may be somebody out there who may not actually be watching this channel, may not actually see what we do here and buy your product and be turned off because they don't have the proper instructions to actually do this. Not everybody is mechanically inclined Running Panther, so maybe start putting I don't know, some instructions or a little bit of instructions on how to do this in your website or possibly just a little note inside the box. But other than that, this is an awesome product. I'm pleasantly surprised and look guys, let's get this skid plate on this 24 row glide. If you are looking for a bolt on skid plate, this isn't going to be the one for you. This one actually just snaps into place and that's what the C-clip brackets and the square nuts are for. As you can see, I'm taking this square nut and actually putting it inside at the bottom of the C-clamp bracket. There's six of those, so let's get those six done and then we'll move on to the next step. Once you're sure that you have everything together, that your C-clamp bracket has that square nut inside, take your skid plate, turn it over, look for the recessed hole in the bottom of the skid plate. Take your three millimeter hex bolt, put it through the bottom of the recessed hole on the skid plate. Then take your C-clamp bracket with your square nut and thread it on to the three millimeter hex bolt. Make sure to tighten it up, but don't tighten it so tight that you cannot move the C-clamp bracket anymore. Do all six the same way. When you are finishing up, make sure that all six are facing the same direction, the same direction as they will snap onto the frame. And right here, you can see what the finished product looks like. This was a little bit confusing at first because I wasn't sure exactly where it was going to mount at. But once I figured out that you need to go about a quarter of an inch to an inch back from where the floorboard actually mounts to the frame of the bike, then I got it to where it would just clip right into place. But as you can see, it's a little tricky until you get the actual feel and know of where it's going to go. You will know when it's in the right place because it puts off a certain sound when it snaps into place. Listen for this sound. Now that you've got everything snapped into place, take your three millimeter Allen key and tighten all six Allen bolts down.
as you can see, it was a pretty easy install. You don't have to drill any holes. You don't have to take off your floorboards for extra brackets. It just snaps into place. Now, some may be concerned about that, but I can tell you that it is a very, very tight fit. About the only thing that would probably rip that off would be if you ran over a railroad tie. And if you're already to that point, your bike's destroyed anyway, so I don't think that skid plate's gonna help you. Yes, it worried me a little bit, but it is a quality product. It snaps into place with a tight fit, and I think it's gonna be absolutely fine. If I didn't, I wouldn't put it on this channel. Unfortunately, fam, like all good things, this video must come to an end. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it has to be. But I will be back next week. Don't worry, it'll be fine. I'll be back just chill. All right, fam, if you've enjoyed this video, go down there and give old dad a big thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. And also at the bottom of the screen and in the description, there will be a link to Running Panther if you're interested in this skid plate. Now keep in mind, it's not gonna be your high dollar skid plate that you get from other places, but it is a decent, good skid plate that's gonna work and do what you need it to do. Not only do they have skid plates, they also have the fairing extensions, they have cup holders, they have backrests, they have a little bit of everything, not only for your 24 road glide and street glide, but for other motorcycles as well. So definitely check out Running Panther. Fam, I love you, but that's all I've got for this week's video. You ready? Let's do this. Peace. I'm out.